name is Abhimanyu. So I've been in the service for 25 years, uh, 16 years with the commandos, the last nine years with the Gurkha Contingent Police Force. Been doing ultra marathon since 2012. Um, just want to give a quick definition of ultra marathon for those people who do not know. Ultra marathon is any distance above 42 kilometers. So can be from 50, 100, 200, 300. All right. So it can be a supported ultra marathon where there are checkpoints along the way of 10 to 25 kilometers or an unsupported ultra marathon where there's no checkpoints. You just are uh, self-sufficient. You carry your own food and um, carry your own food and water and you find water while you're running on the trails. So that's a brief description of an ultra marathon. And then chance upon a thing called fat adapted athlete. So what is being fat adapted? Basically, when you're fat adapted, you're tapping into your fat reserves in your body as an energy source, while the glycogen in the body remains to feed your high intensity stuff. So what it meant to me as an athlete, as an ultra endurance runner was a total change in the way I see nutrition being fed into my body. So it, it meant I had to change the way I eat, change the way I train, change the way I carry food stuff as well. Also meant I needed, I can run lighter, I needed to carry so many stuff. So my training runs could be like four hours, where no food, just water, and I just go because I'm able to tap the fat reserves in my body. So next development that I saw because I had to change the way I eat was to change the way I run. Why? Because I always believe that to race and compete, I needed to train hard. So every run of mine was very hard. So every, every day when I run, my 10Ks, I run between 45 minutes to 50 minutes. So I do that for a week and then I take a day's break. And I realized to tap into the fat reserves, you can't run, a run, you can't run hard every day. You needed to slow down so that you can tap the fat reserves in your body. So what it meant to me as an athlete was that I needed to polarize my training plans. So it meant, what it means by polarizing means is uh, two extremes. So when I go out to a run on a normal day, it's really slow, easy, no hard running. So my 10K is like one hour, 10 minutes, one hour, 15 minutes, literally slow run. And then my heart runs are really hard where my heart rate goes up to the maximum uh, maximum capacity. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, so that man, I had to change the way I trained. So that was something new to me and alien to me because, like I said, I always train very hard. In addition to that, a lot of new gadgets were coming in the market. I don't know, you've got watches with uh, heart rate monitors. Uh, you can listen to music while you're running. So I started to adopt all these technologies. Uh, just heart rate, wearing heart rate monitor. Because in my training runs, I don't believe in wearing heart rate monitor. But I had to wear the heart rate monitor so that I can monitor my, the pace that I'm going at. Whether I'm going at a slow pace or hard pace. Check my sleep patterns. Whether my heart rate is at a, a low level. So I get enough sufficient rest and my recovery, whether my heart rate is elevated. So this came into my life because I never believed in all this stuff. So this, another new addition came into my life that I look, needed to look at. So my iPhone was very important to me. So the next evolution that occurred in training was uh, evolu um, ultra marathon was, I remember doing my first ultra in 2012. So I wore a road running shoe, long tights, uh, just a normal t-shirt and a military, you know, those military hydration pack. Uh, with tons of gears weighing about 4 kg. That was my first introduction to ultra marathon. So that's how I ran. And over the years, the ultra marathon scene has picked up quite a bit. And a lot of gears, training gears has been developed to suit the sport. So now you've got shoes that weighs about maybe 9, nine ounce, okay, for a size 9 shoe. And then you've got gears that in this kind of humid weather dries immediately while you're out running. And then you've got hydration pack that is, that is a... Uh, body hugging and pockets that are very intuitive that when you're running out in the night it's you, you know where you where you stuff your stuff something that uh Mindran brought up the insoles right would they have helped can they improve on abhi's performance oh yeah definitely i mean i i don't <laughs> i'm not a shareholder in that company by the way <laughs> but i think something like this uh, a technology like that that can actually give you a customized sole um, I don't know, customize everything for you. you have, uh, um, um, your shorts, your, your, your teeth, whatever, everything. And um, your device that's on you, everything that's customizable okay. uh, through different materials, different technology would help, for sure. 